Wasi May June 2018 Final Mathematics Paper 2. We are looking at the solution to question 9. Now, question 9 says the points 2, 5, 3, 0, and 10, negative 13 lie on a circle. Find A, the coordinates of the center of the circle. B, the equation of the circle. Then C, the radius of the circle. Now, we don't know the equation of the circle, so we assume that this is the equation of the circle. x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. So let this be the general equation of the circle. In that case, our center is given by negative g, negative f. Now we were told that the points lie on the circle. So each of them must satisfy the equation of the circle. I mean this equation of y. This point lies on the circle. So it must satisfy the equation of the circle. So we substitute 2, 5 into this. So that will give us 2 squared plus 5 squared plus 2g into 2 plus 2f into 5 plus c equals 0. So when we simplify this, we get the equation 4g plus 10f plus c equal negative 29. Let us call this equation 1. Then we repeat the same process for the point 30 because it is also lying on this circle. So when we substitute for x and y, we obtain 3 squared plus 0 squared plus 2g into 3 plus 2f into 0 plus c is equal to 0. When we simplify these two, we are going to get 6g plus c is equal to negative 9. Let's call this one to equation 2. Now, we repeat the same process for the point 10, negative 13. So we sub in this for x and this for y into this equation. And that gives us 10 squared minus 13 squared plus 2g minus 10 plus 2f and negative 13 plus c is equal to 0. Now, we call this one to equation. Now, let's simplify this for that to obtain 20g minus 26f plus c is equal to negative 269. Now, let's call this to equation 3. So, now we are going to use our calculators to solve equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3 simultaneously. When you reach here, that is what you're supposed to do because you're not being tested on your knowledge of solving simultaneous equations in three variables, but the knowledge of circle, finding the center of the circle. So when you reach here, use the calculator to punch for the values of G, F, and C. So when we solve equation one, two, and three simultaneously, we get the f to be equal to negative 100 over 11, the g will be equal to negative 390 over 11, and c will be equal to 2241 over 11. So marks will be awarded over here. Now, our center will be negative g, negative f. So negative of 390 over 11 is 390 over 11, negative 100 over 11 is 100 over 11. And this is the center of our circle. And the next question says that we should find the equation of the circle. So finding the equation of the circle means we are substituting these values into the general equation of the circle. So we substitute f, g, and c into the general equation of the circle. 
to obtain x square plus y square plus 2 into negative 390 over 11 x, x plus 2 into negative 100 over 11 y plus 2 2 4 1 over 11 is called z. I will simplify this to obtain 11x squared plus 11y squared minus 780x minus 200y plus 2, 2, 4, 1 equals 0. This is the equation of the circle. Now we are being asked to also find the radius of the circle. That's the third aspect. So we know the center of the circle. We know points on the circle. So we find the distance between the center and the point, the center and any point on the circle. So a radius will be equal to some tracing 3, 0 and the center. 3 minus 3, 9, 2 over 11 all squared, plus 0 minus 100 over 11 all squared. And simplifying this gives us 33.7 units. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that more videos be uploaded faster.